must be delicate in this next phase. Her demise must be handled with care. Perhaps one of your knights, your majesty. No. I need someone adept at murder, bereft of mercy. Someone with no heart. Now you understand. Well, in that case, you need a huntsman. We discover that my sheriff character, his fairy tale character, was the huntsman, who is a badass, but you can't really be Irish and get away with saying the word badass. It's a very American term, so, um, but he's, he's, he's a pretty mean guy. You tell him to stop threatening me. Because you know what I do to pets that threaten me? I hang them on my wall. He's not a pet. And as it transpires, he has been raised by wolves and has very little human contact and has no understanding of humans and can't relate to them, but only has respect for animals. He's perfect. Bring him to me. It doesn't come much more terrifying than the evil queen, you know? So um, when she's playing as the mayor, you know, when she talks, she listens, you know, and Graham definitely listens and definitely does what she says at the start. What were you looking for? Nothing. It was, uh, it was nothing. You don't look well, dear. Let's take you home. You know, I, I, I don't want to go home. She eventually does stand up to her. Not with you. And she doesn't like that. Oh? But you'll go with her. Hey, this is between you two. Leave me out of it. She's right. It's between us, and things have to change. And I wonder why that is all of a sudden. It has nothing to do with her. You know, I've realized that I don't feel anything, Regina. And I know now it's not me. It's you. So you're leaving me for her? I'm leaving you for me. Graham, you're not thinking straight. Actually, for the first time, I am. I'd rather have nothing than settle for less. Nothing is better than what we have. If you're a vulnerable character and you're, and you're standing up for something and, and you're having your say and trying to get your point across, that, that feels pretty amazing. I need to feel something, Regina, and the only way to do that is to give myself a chance. Graham. I'm sorry. It's over. The joy of this show for the majority of us is that we do have these two characters to play and you're conscious of the other one. Constantly when you're playing one, you're thinking of the other, you know. Graham. Basically, he's a victim of bullying by her, you know, and you know everyone wants to stand up to their bully and rarely gets the opportunity. So I've enjoyed the scenes where I put her back in her place. And in the final scene, it's his revelation. He finally has this moment where he realizes that he was another person and all his questions have been answered in that split second. just when you think it's all coming up daisies and that's all taken away. You okay? I remember. Graham? I remember. You remember what? Thank you. Graham! Graham! 
The sad part is that also in that split second, Regina has crushed the heart of the huntsman that she has been keeping in a vault this whole time, the 28 years that the curse has been on. So that is the sad end of the sheriff, but then the clever thing about the, the way the thing is written is that they leave a lot of unanswered questions. Graham! Come on, Graham! Graham!